Okay guys, uh, good evening. Uh, today my innovation session is talking about uh, material design. So my name is Chintaka Gamage. I am working for the UI department uh, as a senior UI specialist. So uh, today I am going to talk about a visual language of good design that is regarding material design. Right, let's start. Uh, my content is uh, covering evolution of design concepts, why material design, material design principles and what is material design, example from modern UI, UI so of materials. materials. Right. <laughs> evolution of uh, design concepts, you know uh, some evolutions happen, past uh, design concepts. Uh, can you tell me some example, if you know? Hashik. Some graphics guys here. Abhiman. Earlier stages of design. Yeah. Yes. And some earlier stage of flat design? Uh, radiant emboss effects. Emboss effects. Yes. Good point. That is the uh, schematic designs. You know what is schematic designs? Have you heard this word before? No. Okay. Can you see some textures uh, on this picture? A textures, leather effect and some stitches can you see stitch marks and some uh, groove dents and craft a shape of fonts can you see right so uh, this is uh, normally uh, looks like what a purse or a handbag or belt whatever that is a real realistic uh, looking design it taken to the uh, applications or a uh, design level uh, interfaces that is the schematic is catch got the idea that's mean the real world object is transformed to design elements uh, I'll show you some examples can you see this uh, bookshelf is made by wooden so this uh, this thing uh, has used for the Apple uh, bookshelf have you seen this app? Familiar, right? So the real world uh, scenarios, some uh, uh, some uh, physical uh, shadows and uh, interfaces, textures, materials, they uh, try to apply directly to the interfaces. So be, because uh, in that case, the people like to uh, work with natural environments always. Uh, and uh, have you seen this effect when you are opening a paper? So there is some curve shape and some shadows. Uh, these things directly applied to the uh, book. Have you seen this app? Apple uh, book interface. Some web interfaces also use this effect to the JavaScript or whatever. So uh, this is a mic used for the recording studios uh, stereo mics and there are some mono mics so these shapes directly integrated for the Apple recording earlier that is skeuomorphic design examples uh, but now the recording app is different they change with the design changes so uh, what is next evolution of design what do you think? That is skeuomorphic. After that, which design came to the world? Can you guess? We once said the flat design. The emboss effects went off and flat designs came to the design trend. So it's very clean, simple uh, interface changes happen 
this is the explanation of thread design. Uh, it's a minimum of use stylic elements and uh, minima minimalistic use of simple element typography and flat colors. That is the flat design concept. So uh, I'll show you some examples uh, how uh, that flat design is applied for the applications. This is one example menu box there are some flat icons some text and indications in one text colors and uh, no gradients no shadows you can can see here and uh, this is a profile picture and some profile information some uh, most uh, important stuff uh, showing like this in flat interfaces <coughs> this is the form how it works in the flat interfaces uh, you couldn't see uh, uh, depth of the uh, input box and no button embossed, no uh, uh, shadows in, uh, applied for the buttons. That is the flat looks. Right. Uh, this is a summary of infographic uh, about uh, flat interfaces. You can see some opacity level uh, for the people area. 60% that's text are flat. Everything is flat. No any uh, 3D shapes. These are the web layouts. Uh, you can see uh, that applies uh, from the flat interface, flat concept. And uh, when you are talking about metro design, also came with the flat design concept. And uh, this metro design is introduced by Microsoft in 2010. Uh, before that, flat design is introduced to the market, but uh, it's not popular. Uh, much but they uh, added metro design as their language this is uh, how microsoft called for the metro design uh, metro is our design language we call it metro because it's modern and clean right these are the uh, samples uh, of metro design how I apply for their platforms this is a metro dashboard the thing is metro interface having some box shapes they are using uh, that one box to show so many information they are flipping the side of that box and uh, showing some uh, different information and this is another layout uh, for windows 8 uh, day mode they are showing a uh, night mode as darkened background and uh, darkened uh, widgets for the night mode, that kind of behavior changes also they apply. Uh, for the next, I am going to show. Uh, you think that schematic designs there and flat designs came. After that, uh, in that case, uh, people are confusing which designs going ahead. That's mean the flat design is good though, schematic good though, whatever. So uh, some uh, uh, marketing. Uh, company uh, they uh, did this case study uh, to figure out uh, which is the best uh, I'm showing uh, you uh, this site you know uh, when uh, flat designs come to the market, uh, it's uh, HTML5 and uh, CSS3, CSS3 also came. Uh, this website is designed with that uh, technologies. You can see uh, no flash or whatever used for this. You know flash. What is flash? Stand, hands up. Uh, anybody know flash? Flash is an animation software. It's uh, used to uh, do some animation stuff. There's timelines, that kind of thing. But uh, it's very heavy. It's taking some time to load. But uh, here, uh, the page is loaded quickly and uh, it's done by CSS. When you are scrolling, you can see the story. Read this stuff. You can get an idea about the story. You can 
see iPhone stops Safari icons here. That's very emboss effect. That's all our scheme of fix designs. Let's on the fitting so that's on charting. Schematic excite. This is the flat valve. You can see building shapes, everything is flat. Machine also flat. Into flat. This is the conclusion about the flat or reality. So uh, this is comparison of flat and realism. This is a scheme of it. You can see the philosophy is uh, flat based simplicity and uh, limited reality. You couldn't uh, make total reality stuff in uh, scheme of it design. Uh, and uh, weight, the flat design weight is very low because. Uh, These are taking very minimal size of flat colors. These are having a gradient. Gradient takes more effort to download images. Uh, it's raster based, but uh, here looks like vector based. So file size is minimum 50k, but uh, here uh, very high weight. Okay. There's a game, but I'm not going to play that now. That's a game uh, developed by that company to uh, uh, that's the marketing purpose so uh, whatever the flat or uh, schematic we couldn't compete with those designs because we uh, that both are very important because uh, we are uh, living with the real world <laughs> uh, so Microsoft Google and Apple both uh, that all uh, companies are changed to flat interfaces. Uh, we'll see uh, what are the cons of flat designs. Next, flat design is very simple. So some be, uh, people, uh, the new new people are not uh, identifying some elements and stuffs directly uh, with the flat de designs because uh, it, it's unfamiliar uh, to the user sometimes and uh, hard to convey a unique branding of site because uh, everywhere is all flat so no 3d interface there so uh, it uh, couldn't identify which element is uh, uh, to the uh, branding stuffs right uh, and uh, simple is limiting some stuffs uh, to uh, show the visual complexity that kind of way 
So, uh, what do you think the next uh, evolution of design? After flat design? Which can you guess? Cake. <laughs> yes, cake. Also, a flat design concept. <laughs> uh, and uh, there, that cake icon. If you are talking about the cake icon designed by a 3D shape, it's schematic design, but it convert to the flat icon as E. So we are also uh, up to date. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, see this uh, video and you can get idea about next. And uh, how many people use Android phones? Right, uh, have you got the update for the Lollipop uh, latest update? Yes. No. Uh, it's used material designs. Uh, this is uh, the explanation about material design. It is uh, developed by Google and uh, it's card based layout systems they are using and uh, grid based layout, responsive animations, uh, transitions and depth effect they added to the layout. I will go through it. Also they use light and shadow. You know in a very total blank area you couldn't see any shadows or lights. Right? Uh, when you add the light if there are some objects you can see the shadow if they are if if they're totally f light then you couldn't see any shadows and uh, that's the concept of light and shadows you couldn't see me even anybody uh, if not having light and shadows so these are the principles uh, uh, used in uh, material design uh, material is metaphor uh, ball graphic intention mo uh, motion provide meaning that means the motion we have to use purposely uh, depend on the uh, requirements and uh, ball graphic intentional that means uh, elements and focus em emphasize for different actions and uh, materials uh, some layered interfaces is the metaphor I will uh, talk more about that can you see this uh, uh, colors and stuff uh, what are the other things you can see here other than colors shapes and uh, can you see these shapes are uh, position uh, on ho ho how it arrange can you see any uh, depth for this can no can okay see the next screen how about now now you can read the depth of that layers uh, but uh, in flat designs you couldn't see this thing but here you can see this is another sample of that you can read the layers right there's some height and depth this is another sample that is uh, Google introduced materials metaphor they use some layered interface uh, The main thing is the material environment is 3D space. They use X axis, uh, Z axis uh, other than uh, 2D designs. This is how layers are arranged in the interface. You can see floating button, content card, system navigation bar, system status bar. Those are in layer space. 
So, how layers behave? See this. So, layers can take some shapes, any shapes, it can convert to circle uh, or some shapes, it can go behind or uh, uh, with shadows, effects given that shapes, uh, shadow depth uh, calling the uh, layer position. In flat interface, they use some 3D look and feel, but it's not totally 3D. What I feel is uh, material design is uh, used uh, schematic design concepts and flat design concept mixture. So, uh, not totally taking schematic design, it's used flat design, added some Z axis. Uh, 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 option. So, uh, this is the uh, screen you are showing the thickness of that layer is only uh, about 1 dp thickness the height and width material can vary that is the physical properties and uh, you can see uh, the shadow in side surface front surface you could not add the outer glow or whatever to show that depth, you have to add shadows and that shadows reading the depth, it is uh, looking natural and also uh, material can display any shapes and colors. There are lot of material properties, uh, you can see here, uh, this is the Google website. You can visit uh, in your free time for the Google website and how uh, this all works. And there are some uh, lot of stuffs, uh, elevation and shadows. How card layout works, this kind of stuff. This is the ball graphic intention they use. What to do and what not to do, that kind of stuff they are showing. And uh, some uh, animation stuff, response interactions. Some expanding, reducing shapes. This kind of uh, we used earlier for active stages at button, hover, color, that kind of stuff. But in material design, they are using some different effects. Right, uh, and there are some uh, animation stuffs and styles colors and uh, icons is an approach how it work there are a lot of stuffs uh, you can read Okay, uh, read more stuff uh, on that website and uh, material design introduce physics, uh, that's mean uh, real scenario we discussed now, this kind of animations they used. So this is the evolution of uh, how material uh, design stays here and you can see the uh, calculator what you use in apple is totally flat no any shadow and stuff here uh, but here the latest design you can see some shadows and layer based stuff that is the advantage of material design
so uh, the new age of designs is currently material design and uh, i'm showing uh, some examples of material designs right now um, this is a uh, used by html5 and css3 Some basics uh, applied. You can corner desktop here, like, and ball graphic intention. the motion some particle animations and some layered stuffs Uh, here having another example what you see in schematic design can you see that book opening closing interface but in very less weight that is the important of this right go for another design uh, have you seen this google inbox latest design they also use that This animation is done by material design. And also, there's some inbox app. So done by material design. This is that uh, the metaphor ball graphic. Right. The another example is. This is an app used material design concept. Uh, you can download from the apps to, uh, Google Play Store. You can see that plus marks, the icon they are using as unique. would be the next design think you meet up again thank you uh, any question and answers okay thank you Thank you.